everyone. So today I'm back and I will be doing a review of the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. I am in shade 290 Cappuccino and this unfortunately is the darkest color in this collection. I have used Revlon foundations before. I used to love the Revlon Photo Ready foundation in shade Cappuccino as well. Revlon also has the Color Stay foundation, which is very popular, and that one comes in shade Cappuccino, but I was at the store comparing all three shades in the different collection, and I would say the Nearly Naked is the lightest shade of Cappuccino. I would say the Color Stay is the darkest, and then the Photo Ready is sort of in between, but then the Nearly Naked is the lightest shade of Cappuccino. So just because you wear cappuccino and the other two foundations doesn't necessarily mean this one will be an exact match, unfortunately. This foundation is supposedly a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Foundation. Now, I do not have that foundation. I was not going to go ahead and spend $30 plus on a foundation that's not full coverage. In my opinion, I wanted this foundation for an everyday light to medium coverage and if I'm just going to be wearing it every day and I'm going to go through it often and quickly then I'm not going to dish out $30 for it. That may be in some other people's budgets but personally I like to spend a lot of money on more fuller coverage foundations that I'll be wearing to events and out on the town, stuff like that, you know? So I'm wearing this foundation right now. I've had it on for a few hours and I did set it with a loose um, trans translucent HD powder. So I didn't set it with, the with a powder that would um, influence the color. So I think it's a pretty good match for me. Um, it's... I would say it's a lot better match than the photo ready I used to wear a lot. That one was very orange and my undertones just aren't orange. So I'm happy that this is a pretty good match. So the coverage, when I apply it, it applies very sheer. It's It gives me a glowy look and I would say it is a buildable foundation. But I wouldn't purchase this foundation um, hoping to just layer and layer it on in an attempt to give you a flawless look. Like you're not going to get, unless you have very good skin, you're not going to get a flawless coverage with this foundation. Um, you can go back over blemishes or acne marks with a concealer, I would suggest, and try to cover some of those up. But this is more of a lightweight sheer coverage foundation and I like that that's what I want for every day I don't need that flawless face every day because that's not me I don't want to give people the impression that I have a flawless face on a daily because then on days you're not wearing foundation people are like whoa like what's up with your skin so I very I like it a lot I like the foundation it doesn't have a weird scent to it or a weird feel Personally, I have combination to oily skin, and although it does give me a nice everyday glow, it doesn't leave my face feeling oily or greasy throughout the day. It sets pretty well, so that's what I like about it a lot. Also, the price is very affordable. Revlon foundations tend to be a little bit pricier, but they are good quality, and I picked mine up at Walmart for let me pull out my receipt I picked it up for $7.48 I've seen it online for more ranging from $8 to $11 $12 so that's a pretty good deal I would say if you want to pick up this foundation for the low head to Walmart um, they had all the shades at my local Walmart so that was great overall this is an excellent foundation I give it two thumbs up um, I don't know if it's comparable to the Urban Decay Naked Foundation because I personally don't have it. I did watch a review by It's Judy Time. 
I believe that's her name on YouTube. She's very popular. I love her videos. So I watched a review on hers, on her um, channel, and she was comparing this to the Naked Foundation, and it didn't seem very similar. She liked both of them, so that's what influenced me to go out and try this shade. And I really love the foundation. I'm going to be wearing it on a daily, and it's it's a really good deal. Like, I don't know. I like it. <laughs> Um, if you're wondering about my hair, I just, I used a curling wand yesterday to curl up my hair. Um, and then I did two Bantu knots to like kind of hold the curls at night. So now it's just giving me like this loose waves type look. Nothing too defined. So I like it though. It just gives me that nice loose waves look. So Enough is enough. The foundation is a good deal, I would say, if you don't have a lot of acne marks or discoloration that you're trying to cover on a daily basis, then you should check it out. It's lightweight, you don't really feel it on your skin, and it's a good deal. So that was my review. I hope it was helpful, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!